Fabulous. Okay. Shana, what did you say? Oh, we're in the next car. Yes. Yeah, you look beautiful. Yeah, of course, because uh, because the weather is very hot today. That's why I, I don't want to wear the makeup and just I wear the neck car and just lipsticks. Okay. So uh, I will let you request you one thing that is, can you send me your homework a little earlier than the class hour? Okay. <laughs> Please don't send me the, the homework only just when the, the class is starting, maybe about, for example, maybe about um, five minutes uh, ahead to the class or not, right? Or maybe 10 minutes, if that is not much time for me. Okay. Yes, so I will, uh, I will let you request you to send, I will let you request you to send me earlier than right now, okay? Earlier than the, the class hours, that would be fine. Hello? Anybody else? No reply? What, is, what does it mean? What is the meaning of nothing replying? Hello? Oh, okay, well, we'll be careful next time. Yes, so no no reply means, no. what is the meaning of no, no reply? Shabu, what did you tell me? Uh, you said that uh, we need to, uh, we need to uh, send the homework uh, earlier than the class, so I said, uh, I will be careful this time. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's But maybe uh, not every one of you, maybe just some of, some of your friends. Okay. Because, you know, if you sent to me uh, before the class, so I cannot read it. I cannot read it very carefully. So I just have to read it, uh, scanning. And after that, I cannot get, I just can give you only just uh, some suggestions for your writing as well. Okay, yes. And thank you so much for your homework. You did really good job. And some of your, yeah, some of you wrote a long, a long paragraph, right? I think we do have already learned it. If you want, if you want to present different how should I say different point of views from the from the topic or else you have to divide, you have to move, uh, you have to start a new program with a new uh, transition words like that. Okay. Yes, and Suji, you should reread your program again. You should do you should recheck it, okay? The mistakes. Yes. I think maybe that's the mistake is not you didn't know I don't I don't think you didn't know that mistakes maybe you might be careless to write it very quickly I think yes teacher. okay please be careful for this one and then I would like to suggest you some of you to read a book I mean I mean a book means uh shankans you are not earlier than the class hour. You are in the class hour. You sent me the homework in class hour. Okay, I would like to suggest you all, and um, some of you, you need to read the books. I mean, the books mean like a reader digest or maybe read the novel, the novel, the novel for, of the novel for something you want or detective novel or anything else, comedy or, right? Because you can, you can look at these, uh, those books on the internet and online very easily. You can download some books, uh, you, can, you, you can download some books uh, freely, okay? With, the, with free of charge. So you should read 
you should do reading because you know you need to improve the vocabulary skills, right? That's why I would like to suggest you to read some books or like uh, maybe if you don't want to look for the other things and just only you should read Reader Digest and you would have some new vocabulary, right? That's it. And next with the one is, uh, yes, some of, some of the students are very good at using the new vocabularies, but I want to suggest to you is that you, before you use that word, you have to make sure and you have to check in the dictionary first. Dictionary is very good uh, guides, guides for you. Because you know, even though you know the words in this meaning, but there would be different meanings one you use in another program like that, right? So the usage of the vocabulary is also important. So before you use the new words that you have learned from the, the books or, some, or someone else, um, before you used it, you have to check it in your dictionary or you have to, uh, you have to, how should I say, check it with the original text, that would be better. Okay. Hello. Yes. Yes. Please answer to me. Are you afraid of me? David, are you afraid of me? Because I'm more than I got this morning and you have no answer. No, no. I just listen. Okay. Yes, listening is good, but this, uh, but listening all the time with teacher is not interesting, right? Like a monologue. <laughs> okay. Yes. So, uh, I have. Okay. So I would like to ask you the. I would like, I would like to ask you first. What homework did I give you? Only just I gave you writing, right? And let's go to the summary that you have done. Okay, the summary. Yes, some of you catch the, the how should I say, what the original program means, but some of you misunderstood about the original text. That's why. You need to reread again and again all the original test before you do summary. Okay, let's go to yesterday program. And yesterday program is skipping breakfast might seem like an easy way for dieters to get calories. However, new research finds that the majority of people were successful at losing weight, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so which are the main points? Hello. People who are successful at uh, losing weight and keep it or uh, eat breakfast every day. Okay. So, do you think the first sentence is the first sentence has main points or the second sentence has main points? The second one. The second one, yes, correct. Yes. So in that second one, how would you retell it again? Can you can you repeat it your sentence again? People who lose weight uh, prove that skipping breakfast is not a good idea for your health system and diet. Okay, thank you. So the people prove the people prove or the, the new researcher found out that? The new researcher. Yeah, because you know, 
The new researcher is also one of the main points in this paragraph, right? Okay, so this is your idea. And so how many words did you use in your summary, Shabab? Skipping breakfast and people who are- yes, How many words? Me, how many words did you write? Have you got in your summary? 21. Okay, good. Shanlei, how many words can you get after summary? Um, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, twenty, 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 25. Okay, yes. So now I have already sent you the one I the one I followed it. So can you read this one and is there any different your idea and me? Okay. So as I suggested to you before, I think I suggested, I, I told to you yesterday, and when you write the summary, you can use complex and compound sentences. So complex would be better for your summary, but maybe if you cannot use the complex sentences, you can openly talk to me and I can teach you, okay? Right, so I don't mean your idea is wrong, okay? I just want to see you just the example of the sentence. So the example I the the sentence I sent I sent is you can take just like the example. I don't say you have got the wrong idea, okay? So you 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 just have you have got the right. Uh, how should I say you can catch the points, but. You, when you present, when you compose the summary, you put some extra words, okay? That's why you can omit, you can omit and you can delete those words, those, uh, the words which are extra in your sentence. So you can, you will have a compact sentence for your summary. I mean like this. Okay, any question for this? No teacher. Okay, thank you. So now I am going to send you a, a new program, next program again. And let's do the summary again. Your summary should be the words. The words in your summary should less than the original test. Okay, so the original test has maybe 36 words. You should have uh, maybe the half, it's the, the possibility. Okay, appropriate, the, the words should be the half of your original test. Okay, that would be fine. So do you see the paragraph I sent? Yes. Okay, thank you. So now let's read this one and let's do the summary. Okay, Miano, can you read this paragraph, Catherine? 
ask teacher. <laughs> eating, <laughs> eating breakfast helps you spread out your hunger and manage your food intake better throughout the day. If you start out the day by eating something, you don't get this burning hunger later that causes you to overeat. Mm -hmm. Okay. What can be the points? David. Hello. Uh, mm -hmm. Eating breakfast helps to spread out your hunger. Mm -hmm. Okay, and eating breakfast. Yes, good. That is one point. And? Help to spread out your hunger and manage your food intake better throughout the day. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. And then next one. Next one, next one, next one. Uh, Suyi. I think it, it may be five, five sentences. Five sentences. Uh, sentences? Yes. Okay, yes, thank you. And the next one. Next one, next one, next one. Aka. Yes, sure. Yes. What can be the main points in this paragraph? Sorry, I, I didn't hear. Sorry, do you agree to who? I, I didn't hear. Oh, uh, okay. I have already sent a paragraph on Viber, so please check it out and then let's do the summary together. So, Shabo, what can be the points? So, I think the first one is the point. Okay, the first one, yes. Um, okay, so, 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 so. Yinyang, how about you? I think it is first, first sentence. Okay. Yes, so how would you write these facts in your summary? If you rewrite, you have to be careful to you have to stay away from the paraphrasing, right? Why you don't think about the second sentence that you don't get this burning hunger later to overeat? Don't you think that per oh no, submarine. Okay. Mm hmm Okay, Stephen, you got it.
David, have you got the idea of the paragraph? If you are not, and then you can discuss with me frankly. You mean the summary? Yes, to write the uh, summary. To, yeah, to write the summary, have you got the, the main point? Sunlight, have you got it? I'm still writing too. Okay, thank you. Yes. Okay. Yes. To catch the one I want. Thank you. Thank you, Nino. And next one. Nino and Steven, while you're waiting to your friends, you might see the that's the assignment, the paper I sent it last last uh, yesterday. Okay. You have to go, you have to download or maybe open submarine about the submarine and then you can read it while you're waiting for your friends. David, okay. Meet and breakfast is really helpful. Okay, I would, I would take a photo. Right? Okay, Nino, can you uh, can you help me to take the photo and then send it this that those photo to Stephen? Yes, uh, was the submarine one. Yes, about submarine the fire and sand yesterday. 
because I would like to read your friend's writing as well. Okay. If it burns your hunger, if it makes you perfect, and get fat. Okay. Can it burn? David, you better change that. It spread. It can spread out your hunger. I think that would be fine. That word would be more suitable to use it instead of burn. So burn me. You means that the you means the burn. Uh, you use the word burn in because of uh, because you use the how should I say the calorie right. You, you mean get fat. You said get fat, right? So instead of bend, you better say it can spread out or it spreads out. Oh, uh, okay. And definitely also you can do, you can write like this. Eating prefers is good to spread out your hunger. Do you agree with that? Uh, can you repeat that again? Mm, so, yes, instead of, so I would like to omit this, omit that eating prefers is really helpful to spread out your hunger instead of that it burns. Can you agree with that? It depends on you. That's my suggestion. Okay, I will write that. Perfect, make sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Sean, uh, Sean, like, the one you sent it to me is, yeah, the one you are sent, yeah, the one you sent it to me is like, how should I say, describing it, like a description about or explaining about the, the things. It doesn't look like a summary. Yes, can you can you can you make it small uh, shorter again? Yes, I'll try. Okay. The the points you point out is good, but you better make shorter. Okay. I got it, Shibo. Sushi. Yeah, if possible, can you please repeat the sentence to be suggested again? I didn't hear the last part. Okay. I'll tell you again. Please wait, wait a moment, please. Only just you have to omit that it burns. You can say to spread out, that is. Or you can say to burn, okay? So eating breakfast is really helpful to burn. If you want to use burn, and eating breakfast is really helpful to hanger, like that. Or to prevent your hanger with overeating. 
like that. Yes. Because you don't want to use spread out again, right? That's why you use verb. Am I yes. Yeah. So instead of so instead of that it burns, you can say to burn. Because we have to uh, we have to omit, we have to delete the, the words as much as we can to get a to get the how should I say to get a good sentence. Yes, yeah, Stephen Nyon. So can you can you post it? Can you share your idea to your friends on the uh, on the chat box? I mean that on this Zoom chat box. And And then she will as well. Okay, beneficial to us. Catherine, it's okay. Do you mean this? Yeah, I sure I see it right now. Okay, David, you get the points right now. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so I you already said it. So please read your friend's idea, okay? And you, even though you know, their, their idea may not be the same so with you, maybe the way they think would be the same, okay? Even though you, they may have different writing style, okay? So you have to learn, you should learn what your French And after writing the summary, you need to show the words. How many words did you write? Yeah, I will send you the example. Can I send the example on chat box as well? Yeah, 17 words. Yeah. 
Is there any ones left? Catherine Dane, David Dane, Stephen Dane, she can't. She can't. Charles Dane. Then how about Su Yi? I sent it. Yes, I Mm -hmm. All. So, where did you send it? Sorry, uh, in your fiber. I did it. Yeah. I didn't see yet. Maybe uh, you better make something. You you better send it to me again. Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Now I see it. Manage. Mm. So yeah, this one is you have already sent it to me. Now we are doing the next one. So yeah, are you there? Or this is this is next one. Where is it? I don't see it. This is this one is the one you have already sent it to me. Okay, right. check it out. Let me check it out. Ah, uh, shipping breakfast, skipping breakfast. Okay, okay, please wait a moment. Let me make it sure. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Because I was confused with book. Manage your manage your food by eating breakfast is better to buy the food. But if you don't want this burning hunger. Oh yes. Sorry, Suyi. This burning hunger. So, see so how many words can you count it up? How many words did you? Is twenty one. Twenty one. The Oreo tasks. How many words? How many words of the original tasks? Original is thirty eight. Yes, thirty eight. And then your summary is twenty one. Twenty one. <laughs> How much different? How much different? How many words different? Hello. Hello. How many words do? You, how many words different? Are uh, is seventy. Mm hmm. Okay. So. 38 divided by two is? Thirty-eight divided by two. How many were how many words left? Okay. I want you to I want you to divide. I want you to divide me thirty-eight. Divided by two. What is the answer for us, Catherine? What is the answer for oh, thirty-eight by two? It's nineteen. 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 Thank you. Okay. So your your summary. When you write the summary, the words you write for the summary should be less than less than the original test about half. That is at least okay. with the compact words, so that would be fine. Okay, so if, if you write, uh, so uh, your words are over 20, right? You should re you should reread it again and you should delete some words that is not important for the points. Okay? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I see now because some of you still confusing. Uh, some of you, uh, some of you think this is a little confusing. 
to write the summary because you know you are how should I say you all you are used to write the like a paraphrasing and rewriting okay so rewriting uh, paraphrasing and summary is a little different summary is you have to point out the main points and make you have to make sentence that's it okay paraphrasing is easier but for reasons also, it had some rules and regulations. So we will we will learn it maybe next week. Okay. And today I will let you I will let you do the, the reading test, not very heavy one, a small one. Okay, and then easy one. Okay, not a small one. I made a mistake. So okay, let's do the let's do the reading test for the per the the fine I said it to you. So I will give you 10 minutes. Is that okay? I will give you 10 minutes to read that, uh, that article and you have to answer the questions. Okay, thank you. So now let's, let's count the time right now. Okay, let's start from now. Now it's 9.15 on my screen. So we will finish up 10, Mr. Witt. I just wanna know the, how, how, to, how do, do you read? Akam, do you do you catch what I mean? No. Okay, I sent the submarine file on the Fiverr group. So you have to go to the Fiverr group and you have to download it. Now your friends are doing reading tests for this. I gave 10 minutes to read that article and, and to answer the questions. Okay, do that's all. Okay, Shinkan is not here right now. Where is he? Oh, Shinkan here, yeah, I see. Shinkan, have you, Shinkan, do you, do you understand what I mean? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, so have you downloaded the file? Shinkan, if you are not sure what I said and you can ask me again.
what? Hello. Sorry. Sorry. Yes. Yes. Uh, I cannot hear your voice. Okay. So your friends, your friends are now doing reading text, and I have already sent a file to them and you all on the Viber group. You should download it and then read it and answer the questions. Yes. Okay.
Okay, time is up. Hello, time is up. So what is the answer for number one? Okay, David, what is the answer for number one? I cannot hear you. I think B. You think B, right? B. It's B. D. So D for dog? No, not, not D. Observe D. B. Oh, you mean B for, B for book? Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, yes, thank you. Number two, Suyi. So what is the answer? For I think it's A. A. Okay, let's keep on number three. What is the answer for number three, Shanle? C. Sorry? C. C. C for cat. Okay, thank you. Four. So, Shabok, what is the answer for number four? D. D. Both? Diesel and battery, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. So number five. Okay, so Stephen, what is the answer for number five? C. C. The title was the first and so. I should try with the call. Yes, yeah, Stephen, can you answer again? Yeah, I can answer now. So number five is D. D, the total was the first submarine used during war to attack another ship. Okay, so is there anyone who wants to oppose this answer? Hello. Okay. okay. Is there anyone who does not agree to Stephen's answer? Stephen said the answer no. number five is D. I'm not sure, but in my view, I think it is A. A. Okay. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. So, David, what is your answer for number five? D. D for dog. Okay, that's great. Leave for dog. Um, so, see, where, where is the, bar, the paragraph for the title? Hello? Hello? Yes, so, the title for paragraph is third paragraph, right? Uh, yes. Okay, so please read it as third paragraphs. Why did they make, why did they make the title? You mean the third whole paragraph? Yes, the third paragraph. Can you, you should go back to third paragraph and you should reread it again because they construct the, the title, the title to use for the, or to use for the American Revolutionary War. Right? Oh, yes, yes. Yes, that's why right, to attack another ship. Thank you, number six. Okay, number six. Mm -hmm. Catherine, what is the answer for number six? C. C. To inform his reader about the evolution of submarine. Okay, is there anyone who wants to disagree to it? Yeah, this is good. Okay, number seven. So which is the most likely reason why the author wrote the first paragraph? 
So, uh, Shabal. C. C. You mean C for cats? Yes. Okay. So, what is the meaning of sterling? What is the meaning of sterling? It's like amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So do you do you feel that when you read the first paragraph, do you feel sterling feeling? Okay, so is there anyone who disagreed to this answer? Number seven. My answer for number seven is A. A. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why did you choose A? So can you answer? Who wants to answer? Why did you choose A? Because it, um, like the concept is going to be talked about along in the other paragraphs. The concept of uh, submarines can be independent and submersibles can, can have to go to the surface and stuff. Mm -hmm. so, you, so you think that the first paragraph is like a, taking a, a reference for the test, the introduction of the, the text like that. Yeah, I guess. Okay, yes. Okay, David. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, David, why did you say? I didn't thought the other were the answer. I guess I just chose that. David, if you choose something, you must have the reason. For example, if you choose maybe the thing you want and you have to answer, oh, this one, I like it. Okay. When you do reading, you cannot, you cannot feel, you have, you have to think about it. You cannot choose the answer by feeling. Okay, David and Shelly. Uh, yes, why did you? Are you mm. talking about the concept, how submarines and submersibles work, mm -hmm. how they how they're different from one another? Mm -hmm. They contrast and also explained the the one they contrasted contrasted between them. They explained the concept, the main concept, mm -hmm. the main concept uh, mm -hmm. to them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so uh, let me know why did you choose number C? Can you tell us again? I have no idea. I, I just choose the message. Just okay. like just like David. <laughs> That's why you are friends, right? <laughs> okay. David, don't worry. Now you have got your friends. You are your close friends. <laughs> because several answers also she also she 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 doesn't think a lot and only just she chooses it. Okay, so before you choose the sentence, this is very important. You cannot, you cannot choose the answers by the feeling, okay? Yes, and that's why we, we need to, we have to accept number A or C. 
Okay. Um, no, no, no. I would like to ask you, Nyan Nyan. Yes. Yes, your friend suggests A and C. So what's your answer? A. Or never A. B. Sorry. A. Yes, A. Yes, A. Okay, why did you choose that? Because uh, it describes about submarines and submarines the world. And the rest of the paragraphs also explain about submarines. So I think A is the answer. Okay, yes. I, I just want to know the, the, mean, the meanings of sterling. Oh, sterling. It's kind of very surprising or so surprising. Mm -hmm. So actually that program is not making the people surprised, right? Yes. Yes. So we better choose number A. A. Okay. Yes. Okay, now let's go to number number eight. Which does not describe a weight in which some missiles are different from submarine. Okay, now Su Yi, what's your answer? Yes. I think T. D. Submissible cannot independently renew their aid and power supply. Is it okay? So, Shinkan. Yes. Yes. What is the answer for number eight? A. A. Uh, should think number eight doesn't mention in the text. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think so. Okay, Catherine, what is your answer for number eight? I think it's C. C, right? So because it doesn't mention about this, submissible can usually spend more time and a word than submarine. Even though this is uh, maybe this possible, but actually, it is impossible answers for, for not describing about it. So submissible can usually spend more time is impossible because submissible is smaller than submarine, right? So number C, okay, number nine, which of the following best describe? This is easy. Shenkat number nine, what is the answer for number nine? B. Sorry? B. Yeah. A. B. So you mean B? Yes, yes. B for B, B for back? It's B for ball. B for ball. Okay, whatever it is. Um, okay, Akka, are you there? Yeah. Yes, what is the answer for number nine? I think it's A. A for apple? Yes. Okay. Why do you say so? But, but Why do you think A is the answer? It's comparing a submarine and submersible. Yes, of course. Okay. The answer is number A. Correct. So now let's go to number 10. Which of these events happened first? Okay. You know. A. A, the title was just right first. Yes. Yeah. Is there anyone who disagree with this? <laughs> Shunlet, do you agree that answer? Or do you have different answer? I agree with that. I think it's A. Okay, yes. Now let's give one to 11. Okay, you wrote, you, you choose B. Right, Stephen, you choose B, right?
Hello? Stephen, did you tell us yeah. something? Yeah. yeah, you chose? I chose B. B, okay. So let's see. So let's go to the that paragraph. Where is the babe shot? Babe shot Jun Mu Kim. Okay. Where is the words babe shot? On the second paragraph. Okay, on that second paragraph. Yes. And Shana, do you see? Do you see the name? Yes, do you see the name Bishop on the paragraph, yeah. the second paragraph? Yes. So which one comes first? The title word does drawings or yes. Okay. Actually, for so the reason the, I didn't uh yes. Sorry, actually what? Uh the reason or why I didn't choose uh B for number 10 mm -hmm. was that because I thought like they said visual uh assembly uh visual John working I recognized the potential of military use, but mm -hmm. actually from the paragraph, from what I see, he didn't recognize mm -hmm. it. Actually, mm -hmm. those uh, inventors recognized it. You know, they didn't directly imply that stated that he recognized the use of military yes. potential. That's mm -hmm. why. I chose mm -hmm. Okay. For my for, for my reason though, uh, in the mm -hmm. second paragraph, like mm -hmm. it says. He wrote that it may be a great advantage against a naval, a navy of enemies. So. Mm. Okay, so uh, that's here. We have to understand the words. The words recognize. Yes. So, what is the meaning of recognize? Notice. Yes, notice. Right. But you know, uh, we have to we have to be careful to uh, one we to read in. That is okay. Here we see the name Big Shop John Wickham's here. Here, but he suggests that it may be of great advantages against a navy or enemies who by this may be undermined in the world of blown up. So it doesn't look like a uh, recognition, shall I? Yes. And here also you can see the words recognize here. It did not take long for inventors and makers of war to recognize the military potential for the submissible, but in 1648, blah, 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 wrote, it may be of great advantages again. So John, oh, okay, um, John Wickens, right? That would be easier for me. So John Wickens point out, okay? John Wickens point out that situation to the army. That's why they started to, and then they started to make the submarine, right? That's why the answer should be number B. Okay, Oh, yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. So 11, which most likely explain why U.S. submarines survived the attack on Pearl Harbor? David. D. B. Uh, D for because David. Ah, oh, D for David, great. Because the submarines were submerged and difficult to strike, okay. Shabba, what is your answer for 11? A. A. No, D. A or D? D. D. Yes. Okay, D. Is there anyone who is different, who has different answer?
Oh. I guess I wrote C. I'm not sure though. I wrote C. Okay, you wrote C. Yes, thank you. So Yi. I don't know, Vijay. Okay, thank you. Yes, actually, you might, you have to think about to choose A or C. A, can, A also, it can be the answers for number 11, and C is also maybe a possible answer, but you have to choose by, you have to choose between A and C, whether E or C. Katherine, which one will you choose, A or C? I think it's A. A. Yes, so the answer should be A. Okay. Um actually when they when they uh, how should I say in that battle, okay, in that in that uh, Paul Harbor, Paul Harbor situation in the American use submarine. Okay, so the Japanese didn't notice that they didn't give a much attention to the submarine. So you can see in this paragraph about Pearl Harbor. Where is the Pearl Harbor? Okay, I think. And the second page, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, on third paragraph, you can see that. Though the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor does run or blah, 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 damage Navy frontline Pacific fleet ship, do a submarine survive the attack and one to cost get uh, great damage? So submarine threw at about 2%, okay? Only submarine is only just 2% of the US Navy, but it can destroy over 30% of the Japanese Navy, right? So they, are, they have, a, their submarine was a very few percentage. That's why the Japanese people, they didn't notice and they didn't give any, they didn't, uh, give target to the to destroy the submarine, so they were destroyed and they they defeated by the U.S. Army. Okay, so it should be number A. Uh, twelve. Which of the following statements is entirely true? No, no. I answered C. C. David Bishop invented the turtle. Julius or invented the submarine explorer. Okay, is there anyone who disagree with this? Hello? Is there anyone who disagrees number C? David, what's your answer? Also C. C, okay. Aga, what's your answer? Aga, what is your answer for number 12? Uh, okay. I, I think it's uh, A. A, okay, thank you. So why do you think it's A? Can you point out the, the paragraph? I mean the paragraph. If you if you can point at the wait, paragraph. Wait, wait, it's not A, it's not A. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's not a yes ho. Okay, so I should go. I answer C. C. Okay. So can you point out the per the paragraph for your friends? Which progress said uh, David David invented the turtle, and the next one Julius invented the submarine explorer. So your your friends can see it very easily. The third paragraph said the turtle was invented by David. Mm -hmm. Okay, and how about okay. Julius? Mm. Fourth paragraph. Okay. Both paragraph, we can see it about the explorer. Julius, blah, 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 blah. Design work, okay? Yes, 
Thank you. So now let's go to number 13. Which of these events happened last? Sui, what is the answer for number 13? A. A, US of Marine survived the attack on harbor. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, you think like that? Yes. And Shalet. I think it's also A. A. B. B or A? 13. 13. 13. A. A. Yes. Okay. Yes, thank you. And Catherine, what is your answer for number 13? I answered A. You answer A. Okay, thank you. So you have got the same answer. And is there anyone who opposed to this answer? No more, right? Okay, thank you. So now let's keep on number 14. Which of the following would be the best title for the reading passage? Nino, what is the best title for this reading passage? B, the story of the, the short submarine. Okay, is there anyone who disagree with this? David, what's your answer for number 14? B, B for ball. Okay, thank you. <laughs> because, you know, because of my earphone, my earphones is a little blur. That's why I cannot hear very clearly uh, falls off of, uh, to talk about A, B, C like that. Okay, B for ball. Short history of submarine. Yes. Don't you think about C? Is there anyone who wants to point out why, why the answer is not C? I think it's because it didn't just talk about cattle. It talked about many other submarines and submersibles. It talked mm -hmm. about the whole history of that submarine and submersibles. OK. So some possible is only just the intro, like you know, the beginning of the submarine. Okay. And they they want to present about the submarine, but they cannot omit the beginning. That's why they introduce about the submersible. And after that, they they compose the, the writer, okay. The writer composed about the evolution of submarine. Okay, that's why we shouldn't choose number D. Okay, yes, correct. Thank you. And Next thing I want to do is, I want to make a group to do your presentation, you to do a presentation. Okay. So how would, I, how would I make a group for your presentation? And um, will you choose yourself or shall I just be? Hello? What is Omoji? <laughs> oh my God, what is oh my God? Okay. Sahia, Shabok, Catherine, Ninyon, Suyi, David, Jinkan, Shale, Steven, Aka. Oh, today is not here right now. Okay, so would you make a group yourself or shall I do for you? Uh, nine people right now on the screen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine people. So three to one group is better. Do you agree with it? Agreed. <laughs> okay, David, <laughs> your head is almost getting off. <laughs> okay, so three and two, one. Mm, so, 
Let me get, let me make it through. See, Charlie. Uh -huh. If I go to, if I go with the alphabet, as Sui, Charlie, Shinken. Yeah. Kim, and then Catherine. And now, right. Yes. So, Shabo. Shabo, Shabo, and Catherine. Shabo, Catherine, and Suyi. One group. Next one, David. David Aka. Sean Le. One group. And one group. And young. And young. Steven. And next one is Shin Kim. Okay, that's your one group, right? So Nyanyo and Steven, you should you should support Shinka to catch up with you two, right? Yes, sure. Okay, thank you. Here comes the numbers. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, they make a lot of noise. Hey, Shabo's group. Your group title is the title. You have to present about the, the submarine title. Okay. Okay. Yes. And then Davis group, you both. Okay, and Steven's group, you have to present about how, how did the US Navy conquer the Japanese Navy? How did the US conquer the Japanese Navy? Can I hear that again? So our topic is how did the U.S. Navy? Yes. How did the U.S. Navy? How? Yes. Okay.
Yeah. Hello, you got it? So is it due next week? Yes, you have to do next week. Mm -hmm. So how did the US Navy defeat the Japanese Navy on Pearl Harbor, right? Attacking Pearl Harbor, because maybe you might have some, some confusing idea. So related to the Pearl, uh, Pearl Harbor, how did the US Navy defeat the Japanese Navy related to Pearl Harbor? Okay. So uh, this is the second time, right? Yes. So you might have some, you might have got some experiences in the first time. So the present for the presentation, the important things for presentation is how would you, how would you present your ideas and your opinion, your uh, information to the audience? Okay, so you can create, you know, you can create as you like. I am not uh, asking you to do only just pop point. You can do some animation. You can create as you, uh, as much as you possible. As, okay, you can create something new as much as possible according to your knowledge. Okay. Yes, so you have to do this presentation next week. Do you want to choose Wednesday or Thursday? I will give you a chance. Thursday. Thursday. Okay. On Thursday. Thank you so much for this. Okay, so is there any question for the presentation? No, uh, what no. I have, uh, how long should be the presentation? Mm, as usual, 15 minutes. 15 minutes, okay. One five, no five zero. <laughs> Okay, 15 minutes. You will have 15 minutes to present it. But you can choose as you maybe, you know, uh, for even though, even though we are, even though we are doing presentation by visualization, you can create as your, how should I say? Uh, some people, they start presentation with a question, they start with a story, they start with a video clip, they start with the singing songs, Anything else you can create as you like, okay? Even though even though this is visualization, but you have uh, you can think uh, how to approach to the protocol, okay? Yes. So now let's go to the lessons. I mean the book for a little. If you don't have any more questions. And I have already sent it to you the, the differences between formal and informal words, right? So you need to read that notice, that page. And when you write, when you write the business reports or business letter, you have to be careful by this information. Okay, did you see the did you see the file, the photo I sent it to you on Viber? The differences between formal and informal writing. Yes. Okay, thank you. So please read that file and you should you should save it because 
when you write a report or business report. So that is very important to use it. The business writing, business writing is also different from another writing. So there are, there are also some, some rules. So you have to know it and you can abstain from this. Okay, now let's go to page number 27 again. Yesterday we finished up at exercise nine, right? Now let's, let's go to exercise 10. Are you ready for this? Yes. Okay, thank you. So exercise 10 said, Make a list of phrases to support the characteristics of the imaginary friends you created in exercise nine. Personalizing them at the same time, look at some examples of how to add supports and personalizing phrases about a friend who likes reading. Okay, so especially for this writing, they, uh, they point out, they focus to personalizing. Okay, so you have to understand how to personalize to how to personalize in your writing. So I think we have already learned about personalizing yesterday. So I think we don't need to discuss anymore. Okay. So now, can you tell me how do you understand about XX10? What do you have to do for for XX10? Is there anyone who is a volunteer? Hello. Yes, you go. This is ten. I want us to make a list of phrases. Um, to support our, uh, to support the characteristic of our friends in, uh, which we write in. So we can also personalize that. Mm -hmm. And we can add interest and support. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. So, so exercise turns want you to do is, you have to go back to your, uh, your exercise nine. And after that, you have to, uh, look for you have to look for the things uh, you created you created about the persons okay? and you have to think about did you write uh, did you write the personalization um, on that as on that paragraph if not and you have to add more uh, more information about personalization okay so the they have they have already given you the, the examples you can read my brother's collection of novels he won't mind. He is at the university now. So the, the blue one, the blue color is about personalizing. He is a bookworm just like you. Okay. And the next one, you'll be glad to know the Tom library is now far from where I live. You can have a look around while I go to football practice if you want. I know how much you dislike sports. I know how much you dislike sport is a personalization for these sentences. I know you love reading, so I'm sure you are going to join the school back the school the school book club. Okay, so you have to reread it your exercise nine again, and after that, did you compose your exercise nine concerning with personalization? Please make please underline the paragraph you wrote. Or if not, if you if you wrote only just the points and in your points, did, did you have any ideas to use the personalizations? Okay, so now please go back to your SSX9 and look for did you compose with the personalization? Okay, I will give you five minutes.
If you see the personalization, send it to me. Okay, you can send it to me on Fiverr or on Chatbox, as you like. Hello, any questions? Because you are too silent. David, did you see any personalization in your, any program? Hello, Shabob. Did you see any personalization in your paragraph? No. Mm -hmm. Your friends has already done. Have you finished? Yes, I finished. I'm typing. Oh, okay, thank you. Shanlei, are you okay? Yes. Yeah, because you are too silent today, that's fine. 
Um, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. When is sent you? What up? I know you're going to interrupt this. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know how much you love trying out new facilities. Charlotte, do you hear me? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, can you can you make I tell it? Uh, I mean that you know the font. Can you make your fonts I tell it which is special personalized? I okay you that is good you send it to me all the send uh, you send it to me the whole sentence but I just want I want you to focus about just personalization so can you make I tell it for your words thank you so much and Shibo as well Shibo can you make the words I tell it for me so I can see very clearly. It can be seen clearly to personalize, okay? I'm sorry, can you tell me again? I didn't hear you. We sent you on the box.
Okay, so Catherine, can you point out with the italics word, italic font for your personalization? Yes, thank you. And I am going to send you personalization pages, especially uh, personalization pages to learn again, to learn, to learn by yourself again, right? Because this is a little confusing. Okay, and then Who's left? You can leave. Okay, thank you. And David, how about you? David, did you write any personalization? Hello. Yes, David. Uh, I'm sorry, but I went to the restroom, so I didn't hear oh, oh. what they did. I was oh, actually, oh, okay. uh, my friend went no one answered me. <laughs> oh, okay, yes. Now you for your friends are looking back to exercise nine, and they have to read their paragraph again, and they have to look for the personalization phrases. Okay, good. Shanle. Do we have to add in our old paragraphs? No, 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 no. You have to go back to exercise nine and you have to look for the sentences that you wrote and for the personalization. Which sentences you wrote with personalization? That's it. Okay, is there any question for today? And then I have already sent it some, some notes, some notes me that I take a, take a Photoshop. And after that, I sent that those photos are on the, I upload it on Fiverr group. So you can reread the personalizations um, personalization about the personalization how to how to the personalization if you hear the personalization you might misunderstood about oh you have to mention about the people or anything else so you have to reread it those notes again and so after reading those notes you would understand more clearly and think okay So thank you so much for today. 
if you don't have any questions. Is there any questions? Why to silence? No. No, thank you. Okay. So if you don't have any questions, I would like to say bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Catherine, you look upset today. What happened to you? Don't be upset. The, the lessons is a little confusing today, right? Yes, actually, I look upset. I'm, I'm worried for the exam. What is exam? This Saturday, we have to, uh, we have a math exam, so I'm so worried. Mm, don't worry that everything will be fine. I'm not the only one who worries about it. I think everyone, wor everyone <laughs> worries about it. I know that. That's why you, have, you all feel this look and fresh. <laughs> okay? That's why. Don't worry. Everything would be fine. Okay? Yes. Bye-bye. Thank you. You're welcome.